My name is Kelly Snook. I am a professor in the School of Media at the University of Brighton, and I'm the director of the Fab Lab, where we are right now. I've been inspired since I was a child um, by music and by sound and by um, the power of music and sound to make us feel things. Um, but as I grew older and I started to study science, I got really excited about an additional property of music, which is that it can represent information and it can actually encode uh, mysteries and it, it can encode um, information about our reality in a way that we, our brains, are perfectly wired to decode. So what I'm really interested in doing is finding ways of representing information with sound in a way that it can be not only learned and um, intellectually understood, but also experienced and felt and heard. At this year's British Science Festival, I'll be presenting the Kepler Concordia Project, which is a musical instrument for scientific exploration. And so what that means is we're developing a virtual reality model of the solar system that's to scale. So you have the planets and the moons and everything moving around as it is in reality. And you're in a little spaceship and you're flying around and you're controlling which, uh, which planets and which relationships you want to study. So if you chose, for example, to study the relationship between Venus and Earth, what you would see is not only Venus and Earth, but you'd also see these beautiful, complex geometric relationships that get formed in space as you look at their motion with respect to each other. And then so you'd be flying through these geometric patterns and those also would be sonified. And your choice of pathway through those determines the music that you hear and play. What I'm hoping people will take away from this, my role in the festival, is are three things. The first thing is that Johannes Kepler is really cool. And what he did 400 years ago was way ahead of his time. And I want them to understand how he made the discoveries that he made about the planets by using music to explore the solar system. That's the first thing. The second thing is I want them to I want them to want to play it themselves. I want them to feel a sense of curiosity about the music of the spheres and how that sounds and how it feels to be inside that. And the third thing that I am hoping they'll take away is that music is useful not only just for self-expression and for arts, but music actually is a tool for the exploration of reality. And you can use music and sound to explore physical reality and spiritual reality. And as you're using music to explore, you learn things about yourself and you learn things about the world.